First up today are Jeremy and Sarah Poole from Crewe. So Kate, I'd like you to meet Sarah and Jeremy. Back in 2017, they paid more to get seats with extra leg room on their flights to Singapore. But they don't think they got the additional space and comfort they'd expected. So they've come to share their story with our consumer expert, Kate Hardcastle. It's a long flight, it's 14 hours. Um, we're both very tall and unfortunately we couldn't run to business class so we paid for extra legroom seats. So how much overall did you pay out for the pair of you? £600. Pounds. £600 pounds yeah. for the extra legroom yeah. on all the bits of flights? Yeah. Right. So was it good? What, did they give you lots of legroom? Well, we've had in lots theory. of legroom <laughs> in theory, but we were by the emergency exit, which is no problem, but we were also near the toilets. So all our legroom was taken by the queue practically all through the day, well, night or whatever, the time. of people queuing for the toilet. Or standing in your space, yeah. what yeah, you paid literally for. literally stand right in front of you. The crew were tripping over us as well. The crew, so, well, their seats were like, their job seats were in front of us. So of course they'd keep coming in, picking up phones, making phone calls, doing whatever it is to each other down the front and back of the aircraft. And they'd fall over your feet at the same time. So A, it was not restful. Um, it was a through the night flight, obviously. Um, it was just... So there was no rest for you? No. Did, did you say anything? Yes, I spoke to one of the cabin crew and he, his remarks to me were, we always get complaints about those seats. And did you make any complaint to the airline? Yes. And what did they say? Well, basically they just said, we aren't responsible for our customers. Um, I'm sorry that you didn't like it, but tough, really. But let's see what Kate thinks about that. Is there an element of being missold here, do you think? Unfortunately not. On the carrier's website, it does highlight that extra leg room can often be in these quite busy service areas. And what you're purchasing is room to spread. And you've got that room to spread as far as they're concerned. And unfortunately, it is a common complaint. And not only that, I'm surprised that you didn't get the third element that people normally complain about, which is these seats are normally near the bassinets. So normally you might have families with very young babies yeah, near yeah. the area yeah. as well. No, no. So for the leg room that you've purchased, which you did get, and there was extra leg room there, sometimes the challenge you face, noise from young families in that same area, people using the toilet facilities nearby and crews using that area yeah. as well. And, and perhaps next time, just check the leg room element and see if you need those extra benefits anyway. They can be quite costly, and that could be saved for far more cocktails at the other end. <laughs> we spoke to the airline, which said, while sorry to hear that Jeremy and Sarah were disappointed with the seats they'd selected, its website clearly states that extra leg room seats may be closer to the lavatories or the gallery on some aircraft. By the way, something for anyone booking this kind of seat to bear in mind as well.